afternoon friends I tell you God <laughs> works in mysterious ways um, I stopped to get some gas at a little town called hey Hire. and uh, anyway if you ever listen to Ray Stevens he's got a song about the um, Shriners Convention and they mention hey hire in that song but anyway <laughs> but that's where I stopped at to get some gas and when I came out to pump it there was a, a car with uh, three guys in it and they were waiting on their friend and of course they had some music playing kind of loud and I don't know what music it was but anyway it kind of sounded like rap music and um, so anyway I was sitting there standing there pumping the gas and I kept thinking Lord I sure wish there was a way that I could offer these guys a love letter without you know offending them or you know because you just have to be careful but anyway, as I was praying that, the Lord had, <laughs> he had this all worked out. It's, it's wonderful how this happened. So, um, anyway, I had paid to put $18 worth of gas in this little old truck. And as it was, I could hear it was filling up. And uh, I said, Lord, now, if I have any gas left over, I'm going to offer it to these guys. Well, sure enough, it turned off several times, and the last time it turned off, there was $15.49 I was able to get in this little truck, which left $2.51. <laughs> and uh, the fourth guy come out, and uh, I said, hey, man, would you like some free gas? He said, what? And he told his uh, the other guy, he said, hey, buddy, uh, you know, turn the music down he said what was that I said would you like some free gas I, my truck's full I got about two and a half dollars worth of free gas here if you want it I'll just hand you the the um, the nozzle there he said oh man yes sir we'll be glad to take it I said well good he said that's a blessing and I said yeah it sure is he said well God bless you <laughs> I said what I said, you gonna, you gonna start talking that God stuff? He said, yeah. He said, we're all uh, come from uh, religious families. I said, well, good, I got something for you. And uh, he said, what's that? So I got in my truck, grabbed him four of the love letters. I got just a few left. I said, how many guys y'all got in there? He said, four, so I handed him four. And uh, I looked and I had a few more. I said, look, let me give you these four right here. You got friends, right? He said, yeah. I said, well, hand out these four. He said, man, thank you. And, I, and he, he was looking at the front. I said, look on the back. And he looked at it. I said, you ain't never heard of YouTube, have you? He said, yes, I have. I said, well, if you want to, to have a laugh, Go to that Million for Christ YouTube channel and you'll see this old fat man preaching. He kind of chuckled. And I said, you'll get a good laugh out of that. He said, well, thank you, sir. And you know, I just got off the phone with Jennifer telling her about it. And each one of these uh, still have a cross in them. And you know, I tell you, God had this all worked out and um, <clears throat> you know, it, it, it just thrilled me so much to see how God worked this out. I mean, you know, they had that music going, and, and I just so much wanted to share um, the love letter with them. And come to find out, they're from a religious family, and the young man I handed them the love letters to I said hey I like your cross necklace 
He said, yeah, it was my papa's. Well, that just, just touched my heart. It was his papa's. So I know that cross necklace means a lot to him that it was his papa's. So, you know, you never, never know who's, who's right beside you. You know, uh, but I, I'm going to tell you, when the Lord, when the Lord lays it on your heart, you just ask him to open the door and he will. <laughs> I tell you, he filled this truck up with gas so fast. Let me get that guy the other two and a half dollars worth. I, I just knew for sure I could get $18 worth of gas in here because it was almost on empty. But I didn't. So, hopefully right now, those four gentlemen have opened up the letters, reading it, and hopefully they've put those uh, wooden crosses on the neck. And, you know, hopefully they'll even see this video. If they do, I hope they'll leave me a comment. And, um, but anyway, I also got my Bible in the truck with me. And uh, I told them that, you know, I like keeping the Bible with me. And I was teasing, in case I get in a wreck, you know, I can hold it. In case, say, uh, if I don't make it, at least I, I've got the Bible in my hand. So, just messing with them. But friend, let me tell you something. When you're riding around with God's Word, playing good gospel music, and got a couple of love letters sitting over here, man, I tell you what, it's a blessing to ride around. And to share the good news with people. I tell you. I was blessed from that meeting of those gentlemen. Well, I just wanted to share that with y'all. And God bless you. And if you don't know what the love letter is. You can go to my um, web page. Which is takeyourgift.com. And over on the left side, there's a little blue tab that says Love Letter. Click on that. You can print one side on one side of the page, print the other on the back side of the page. It even shows you how to fold it up, put it in a little envelope. And what we do, we write, uh, Because you are loved, and on the back side, share with someone you love. And then we have Watch Million for Christ on YouTube. So, that's all you got to do. Well, God bless you. And just have a wonderful, 